Hello and welcome to episode 12 of the Cowboy Colony. Thanks for exploring version 1.3 and the ideology expansion with me. Let's go see how our colonists are doing on the Ranch of Romance and on Caravan. Let's check out the ranch first. It's looking pretty bare. We don't have too many colonists. We only have four colonists on the ranch right now. Jess is still off on a quest, helping out. When do we get her back? We get her back in two days, and that's great. And we got the Vanimetro power cell out of that, which was really, really worth it. Um, we also only have a few animals kicking around. It has been getting very cold. Right now it's not too bad, only 14 degrees, but it has been below zero now that winter has started. So uh, we've only left a few animals here at the ranch and the rest we've taken with us on our caravan, which Hiroto has led. So here's our caravan, many, many animals here on this map, lots of fresh vegetation for them to eat. So that is really, really great. It seems that either the person who um, mods the setup camp mod, um, or perhaps the game itself fixed the original problem. I remember when it first came out, people were annoyed that you know, you couldn't do anything with animals when you were off on quests and, you know, going to enemy camps and things like that. They were just kind of wandering around, but it seems like you don't need to put them in pens, but it seems like you do need to have a pen in order to shear them, which is what we did with our alpaca in order to make a bedroll for Hiroto to sleep in. So he kind of had to go to sleep. He didn't finish setting up camp but we've got a few things to set up once he wakes up. Looks like someone has just built a masterwork. Oh, it's a bed. Oh, it's not this bed. Where is, which bed is it? Oh, it must be one of the ones in here. Okay, it's a small bed. That's too bad. I was hoping it would be the new bed um, for Barry and Cam to share because they are now a couple, which is cute. We have two couples at the ranch. Oh, amazing. We finished researching the modern bathroom fixtures, which means we can now build toilets. I think in order to get, what else did we want to get? Oh no, we did the heating. Okay, so we've got radiators and we've got bathroom pic fixtures. I'd like to research this but since it's getting close to winter, I had also wanted to research hydroponics. So that is going to be the next priority for Nikki to research. And we can get Barry building the, the radiators because um, we do have a hot water tank. Can we build showers as well as toilets? Yes, we can. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so we can put some, some showers in here. We can put some toilets. They also have cute little bath mats now out of cloth. How cute is that? Should we put them like in front of the shower? I like that. Maybe in front of the sink. Oh, that's adorable. Oh my God, I love that. Okay. All right, so we will see how things go um, at the ranch and at the camp as we head into um, winter. We do have two visitors. Oh, and we've got this prisoner. Remember what I did last time? Last time I did this. So let's return to that state in our, you know how we had to go back to an original save because we had originally had problems with the caravan. They just weren't leaving the map. So I'm gonna try this again and we'll see what happens to Big because yeah, he's like, his brain is, is gone. So he won't wake up or anything. Ah, uh, solar flare. Okay, we better get these radiators built because that means the heaters aren't gonna work. I'm gonna do that with Barry right away. Oh no! We've got a raid! That's bad timing. At least they're preparing for a while before attacking. Oh, and it's only one person? Okay. Oh man, although Barry is right here mining some steel for the radiators. 
I'm not sure if she is close enough for him to attack. We may need to preemptively attack. Uh, who else has good weapons? Nikki does. And he's sleeping right nearby. Yeah, I think I may preemptively attack. Um, Zuki? Oh, darn. I think I had her pick up a weapon again in the first um, version of the load that I did last episode. And I don't think, um, obviously, I didn't remember to do it a second time. So I'll get her to get this gun. And I'm going to send Nikki over near Barry. <clears throat> But then I might wait for him to approach, which I think he will. They usually do kind of a pretty wide circle around their original area. Um, also, I've got Hiroto set to harvest a whole bunch of berries. He is hungry, so we'll try to hop back and forth and keep a bit of an eye on him. I'm sure as soon as he's finished harvesting them, he's going to eat some because he is hungry. And I did have him um, already set up the bathroom, so at least he's got a bathroom. I think I'll also have the bedroom set up. Need a couple more walls. And then, yeah, if we get into the raid and we can't check on him in a little bit, knowing me, I might forget. Um, he'll still be okay getting some work done. Do we have any more walls? We should have like one more wall. Oh, no. Hmm. We brought... Okay. Oh, no. There's... That's for the bathroom. Hmm. Uh, oh, we have another door? No. We had one for the bathroom. Okay. Maybe I'll have him deconstruct something metal. Like one of these centipede shells that scared the crap out of me when I first arrived. And then he can build just a steel wall. Okay. Let's get to the raid and hopefully Hiroto will be okay eating his berries. Yeah, he's already attacking. Okay, Zuki, do you have your gun? Not yet? Okay, let's uh, equip Barry. She can just hide behind that steel. That's a perfect spot for her. What does he have? He's got a good revolver. Ooh, is he good at shooting? Not particularly. Do we want to keep him... Do we want to take him prisoner? Hmm. 62... I mean, yeah, yeah, he's he's a great researcher. Sure. Let's try to take, oh, actually, it's her. Let's try to take her prisoner. I apologize for misgendering you, Arison. Okay, uh, Zuki, get your gun, and we'll send you over. Okay. There we go. Oh, can Barry not reach him? Does she have a smaller range? Can you not? Barry? There we go. Okay, Nikki can definitely reach. He's got a very long range on his shotgun. Or rifle. Okay, why don't we send Zuki a little further down? And I don't want Nikki to hurt him too much. I'm going to send him a little back. I don't want him to get like a really good shot to the head or anything. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I was just getting ready to pause it to like send Nikki away. <clears throat> oh, well. Darn. You would have been a good prisoner. I guess our prison is kind of busy right now, too, trying to figure out what the heck this, uh, this guy is going to do. I mean, I think if he's not a prisoner, we're not going to keep feeding him, right? Mm, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm so sorry, Big. I know this is totally inhumane, but I don't know what else to do. We have no other options here. We tried to release you, but you're brain dead, so that doesn't work. It's like just dropping a brain-dead animal on the floor, being like, fly away! Uh, no, doesn't work. Alright, well we got some medicine, we've got another good weapon. Is that better than Suki's gun? It is! Let's have her equip that. 
and she can pick up some medicine. This could be a sidearm. Amazing. Okay, and we'll get her, them to build a grave as well. Well, that didn't go too badly then. And look at that, Hiroto is finishing up his berry harvesting and is now going to eat them. We'll get him to get a little practice cooking. The only bad thing with having animals wandering all over the map is that you can't keep them away from food that's left lying out. I'm going to haul it all near his, his little base over here on the other side of the river. It doesn't seem like many of the animals have decided to cross. They're like, why would I bother getting wet if I don't have to? There's lots of food over here. So hopefully that'll keep it handy enough. And I'm gonna set the campfire. Oh, it's it's set, okay. Um, and he's okay with vegetarian. Unlike our spiritists, uh, Zuki, Nikki, and Barry, he's okay with eating vegetarian meals. So he'll do better with that. Oh, he's even getting a chicken egg. Uh, no, 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 wait a second. Let's not... Uh, are there any unfertilized eggs? Probably not. Yeah, let's not bother with those, Hiroto. Eating breakfast while watching my colonists build stuff. Sorry if my bowl is noisy. Hey, Soul Flare is ending! That's exciting! Alright, and Barry has done some building, so we also have some radiators that'll add to the electric heat. Uh, I think we can ditch this campfire that I was gonna build in desperation, because this was not getting built. She had to, like, mine a whole bunch of, uh, steel, or, yeah, mine a whole bunch of steel first. That's the only thing. Barry is our builder and our miner. So if she hasn't done any mining, she just builds all the wood stuff. It's not a bad thing, but it's not great. You have to watch her. Yay, our first radiator is built! It's grabbing some hot water from our hot water tank. Hmm, I guess we should have a non-electric boiler too. Because yeah, if we have another solar flare... Uh, that's not gonna work. Ooh, combat supplier. Wait, gamer mom, don't get distracted. You're just about to do something important. Do that thing. Then you can look at the combat supplier. Okay, a non-electric boiler. Ooh, a quest. Uh, let's do logs because we don't have any boomalopes and cannot do gas at the moment. Maybe we should tame a boomalope or two. Okay, let's look at this cool stuff. We have a caravan approaching. Combat supplier. I hope they have some good weapons. That would be amazing. We also have a quest. Shack of Fortune. Valuable items worth 950 bucks. Advanced component and a medical skill trainer. Ooh, Gazelle has given birth. Uh, let's see where that is. It's up here. Hmm. Possible unknown threat. You know, I was... Oh, Fia has given birth too. I was thinking perhaps of... When Jess gets home in a couple days, I was thinking of sending her to join Hiroto at the camp. So I wonder if they maybe want to go and hit up this, um, this item stash. What weapons does Hiroto have? He's got a pretty decent gun. We could equip Jess with one of the weapons from the supplier. Yeah, this might work. Okay, let's consider it. There's Giselle. This might this must be the new baby gazelle. Cute. How you doing, Hiroto? You're building roof. Okay. And I think you deconstructed. Huh. Did these not give us any steel? He deconstructed the thingies. They didn't give us anything. He just gets them out of the way off the map. That's weird. I really thought they would give us some steel. Um, hmm. 
Okay, well, we will make a wooden wall then out of a tree. Don't mind me, I'm just having my morning tea while watching Hiroto do his thing. Hmm. Although, I can't forget to go trade. Let's check out, see if the traders have arrived. They are just arriving. Okay, um, Zuki. After you're done cooking that batch of food, just leave it on the floor and come and trade with these guys. Ooh, look at all this good stuff. Okay. Normal revolver. Oh yeah, that's ours. We could sell it. Uh, um, really? Do you not have... You are really not advanced, you guys. I mean, you have launchers. We don't have, like... I was expecting good stuff. You know? Some auto pistols or a shotgun, even. Man. That's disappointing. Do we want to get a flak helmet at least? Yeah, let's do that. We have the money. Smoke pop, pop pack? Shield belt? Um, I don't know if we have any people that don't fight. Because that would be handy for them. Too bad they won't take any of our animals in exchange. They will take our crappy clubs. We have an axe. This might be cool. Okay, that looks uh, powerful. Let's check though. Hit points, 100. Melee damage per second. Armor penetration, use well with shields. Yeah, I don't know, let's get it. I've never tried it before, so we can try it. How does that compare to the Gladius? 7.52. Oh, that has better armor penetration. Maybe we should get that instead. Only slightly more expensive. What about the spear? No, I think the other one is better. Gladius seems good. Warhammer, but it's made out of wood. It's probably not very strong. Hit points, yeah. They've got a plasma sword. Oh, look how expensive that is. Holy cow. Flammability, because it's, it's like a fire thing, I think. Uh, do you want to sell a couple short bows? Let's keep the other ones. Keep the excellent short bow in case we get new colonists. I don't know. I don't think we want the launchers, do we? Slightly crazy to use this. Yeah, I mean, this could set fire to our whole map. Uh, and it's expensive. Okay, let's go with this. We can sell this kidney that we have. Um, but let's keep it in case somebody needs a kidney. Oh, we should sell our ambrosia. We have so much ambrosia. Look at this. Watch this. Probably gonna give us money. Look at that. Look at that. Instead of like minus 500, it's plus 500. That's crazy. Wow. Uh, oh, they don't have any components to sell. That's disappointing. Okay, let's go with this. Uh, let's dismiss them too, so they're not, you know, wandering around our, our home. How's this guy doing? Malnourished. Okay. I'm sorry, dude. I don't want to execute you, because everyone will be mad, but this feels more cruel. <laughs> Just whistle and look the other way. While our ex-prisoner just dies on the floor. Um, okay, we want these animals to be moved. I think I set this to everybody. Oh, no, not yet. Okay, let's set this to allow everybody. And let's set these to nobody. Because, yeah, I want our animals to get moved over 
so they can access this barn. Nikki, do you feel like coming to rope the animals? Trade Caravan is leaving and they're leaving us a gift. <gasps> they had a good weapon. They were just, I don't know, maybe one of them was holding it or they were, they were holding out on us. Is this Muffalo carrying a gun? Oh no, it's a person. <laughs> that looks so funny. It's like the Muffalo is coming to get you. Okay, don't get distracted. Um, auto pistol. That's amazing. Who wants that? Zuki maybe? Or he's our hunter, so we want to keep him with the rifle. Barry's already got a good weapon. Cam needs a weapon. Okay, maybe I'll give Cam Suki's revolver and I'll get her to equip this. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you, Caravan. Oh, and we have the opportunity for this celebration. It has arrived. To begin the ritual, any gathering spot, image of ethics, completing it will have these effects. Quality depends on. Okay. That's so cool. Okay, let me see what this would do. Uh, what's it called? Awoken. Oh, it's not for our thing, it's for blue. Who is blue? Ethical ethics. Ah, oh, bummer. We don't want to like... Oh, I don't think we want to do that because yeah. Um, let's see what all the stats would be. Yeah, it would only be for Cam. Oh, they participate. Leader is not present because they don't... This doesn't have a leader here. Uh altar do we not have an altar oh we have a lectern got it we don't have pillows so yeah not um i mean decent outcomes maybe let's build like some pillows look into building an altar but yeah i don't know i don't know we have seven days to kind of um explore let's find the pillows these are cute, and we have lots of cloth, I'm pretty sure. Okay, awesome. Let's see this. We need at least three. Amazing! Barry and Cam have their bed ready. We had run out of wood, so I had to send Nikki over here to cut a whole bunch of wood. But they now finally have their own bed. Um, although Barry's a night owl, and Cam isn't. So, I don't know, I'm worried that they're not going to be able to spend much time together. We shall see. Looks like we also have a radiator here, so that'll help with heating the rooms. And we're going to put a vent here as well, so that the heat can go all throughout the rooms. Look at that. Toasty warm. Here too. Beautiful. I love seeing that green. Now we got to get one in the warehouse. And I think in the barn, I'm going to just build a couple torches for now. Hiroto has quite the nice little camp started here. He's going to do some hunting. We're going to teach him how to cook, teach him how to mine. Maybe even teach him how to grow some food. We'll see what the temperatures do. Hey, well done. Let's make a spot for that animal to be. Ah, I needed to lower the cooking skill level so that he could cook with berries and or meat. Oh, I'm also going to have to build a, uh, a butcher. He may get food poisoning. He will probably get food poisoning, but he will learn and he will become a better cook. Look at that. Your first meal, Hiroto. I'm so proud of you. We have a quest available, Covert Installation Investigation. That sounds interesting. Ancient complex a long distance away. He believes it contains information about the relic. Oh yeah, remember this relic thing? 
we needed to like find it. Uh, supplying exactly three colonists. Ooh. Contains unknown threats, also being sought out by his enemies, Arandor. We'll send a shuttle to pick up the colonists, bring them into the complex, take them home afterwards. Fed and tended to en route. Once you've landed, you must hack all terminals in the complex within 2.8 days. Huh! And then we get info about the relic. Where is that thing about the relic? This is it. We need to collect info found. Zero out of five. So we need to do that five times. Three colonists, eh? Well, hmm. I don't know if we can do that right now because we've got Hiroto on camp. We've got Jess off on a quest. We should maybe recruit maybe one more person and then send Hiroto, Jess, and that third person. Um, yeah, I kind of like that. How long do we have, though, to accept this? Do we have... Oh, okay, we, it just stays there, I think, one, until we accept it. That's nice. Okay, so we have time to prepare. Excellent. Bake has collapsed due to extreme exhaustion. He has really been hanging in there. Holy crow. I'm sorry, man, but there is no better way to do this. This is like pulling the plug in the worst, slowest, most inhumane way possible. All of our eggs have hatched, but our animals are all together and they have access to this barn which is a little bit warmer, so maybe we should add a couple more torches. Although animals are pretty resilient. They don't need a lot of extra heat. They just need a little bit of extra heat. They just need to not be like frozen. So this is looking pretty good. Hiroto is learning how to mine. Slowly, slowly, he chips away at the iron. Oh, it's silver! <gasps> I didn't notice that. I mean, obviously, I just called it iron or steel. Wow, okay, we're gonna get some money. Uh, we should also get him to build this butcher table. I don't know how long this um, turkey is going to sit there. And he is out of berries for food. 60%. How are you holding up? Cramped interior, yeah. Oh, Big has finally died. Okay, malnutrition. Let's let's give him a nice burial. Um, we have so we have our hospital back. So what I'd like to do is uninstall these beds and turn it back into a um, temple. Maybe we have some uh, yeah sarcophagi. I might want to move it. Yeah. Meh, uh. Okay, this is tough. It's kind of in an inconvenient spot. No, I think I'm going to leave it. I think I'm going to leave it as is. I think I'm just going to put the sarcophagi back in and um, we'll let Big have, have one of them since he was such a, a key <laughs> a key part of our lives for a little while. Um, is this floor granite? Marble. And these are sandstone columns. I kind of don't like those. Let's uninstall those. They look kind of ugly. I, li I like, I'm all about the matching um, types of stone. I'm going to move these urns, use them in the main house, the main base, where they're going to be useful. Let's definitely put the slate. Let's do that. And. Yeah, let's save the granite for now. We could put them somewhere else, but we're gonna put big in, in here. Also, it looks like our power is getting pretty low. What is happening there? Are we using it to generate a lot of heat? We have the solar thing now. Need a 250. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Something is hogging our power demands. It might be like the electric heaters. We can maybe um, uninstall at least this one since we have a radiator here. 
We'll build another one in the guest room. Yeah, that's probably it. Okay, so Big has died. We will put a sarcophagus back in the temple, remove the beds, and that will be his burial place. Ooh, we have a rainy thunderstorm. That was an interesting big crash of lightning. All right, Nikki is going to bury Big in the sarcophagus. We had to clear the uh, settings for these graves up here so that he didn't bury him there and add him as a possibility for this. Goodbye, Big. We're so sorry we mistreated you so, so badly. I'm glad you are finally at rest. Okay, so we have the three kneel pillows, um, which brings up our expected quality to 53%. Chances of it being terrible are very low. Boring is 24%. Fun is 51%. Plus five, five mood for everybody. Unforgettable is 17. I'd say those are pretty good chances. Um, I just, I don't know if it does anything negative about the, the ideology. Like, they will wake up once you start the ritual. Okay, it takes place. Fun or unforgettable, you will discover the location of an ancient complex nearby. I can't apply reward. There's already a known ancient complex. Oh, neat. So I guess that has to do with the, the bow relic. That's cool, fun or unforgettable, huh? But we only have a few more days to do this and it's gonna be a while before we go get the bow. Um, I think we should do it, let's do it. Might as well, it's, it's a pretty good chance of getting a plus five or plus eight mood. Uh, let's try it. Uh, Zuki will do it after cooking the meals. Oh, wait, colonists return. Oh, Jess has just returned. Wait, is she in time to celebrate? Darn, I should have left it like one additional second. Oh, man. Oh, and she was helping the Finsteria Federation, and that's where the gift is from. Glitter word, me glitter world medicine, nice. Okay, note to future self: hear the music, don't put other music on top of this music. I like it. Okay, oh, I wish Jess could join in. Oh, that's too bad. All right. Oh, weird! Look at the tumbleweeds going across. Cam. Spoke about sharing ideas, acclaimed togetherness. So maybe, I don't know, I've been kind of feeling like my, the goal should be to convert all the colonists, but maybe the goal is to have them live together in harmony with their different ideologies. Ah, oh, it was boring. Everyone felt too awkward to open up and laugh. Negative one mood for six days. Oh, well... That was interesting. That was very interesting. Um, did it do, so here's the test. Did it do anything to the ideologian? 100% certainty. I don't know what it was before, but it may have been less. They are still, okay, this is what I was worried about. They are still very certain in their path of spiritism. So it didn't detract from their ideologian. It may have added to Cam's ideologian. Um, which is not super compatible. It's not bad, but it's not super, um, oh, what? Oh no, so we didn't avoid the consequences of Big's death by just letting him die. We still felt responsible. For Cam, this was a good thing. For others, was it? Did they not... Okay, I don't think they noticed. Huh. Okay, I guess they didn't feel negatively about it, but Cam felt positively about it. That's weird. <laughs> now they'll all respect me? What? 
I don't know why he was the one who was responsible. It says I was responsible. Maybe they would all say that if they were part of that ideology. I don't know. Anyways, welcome back, Jess. How are you? You're jumping right back into work. Good job. I'm sure they appreciated your help. Diverse thoughts. Oh no, yeah, you we definitely need to convert because you don't like everyone having different beliefs. It's not so good. Well, it's really nice to have you back, Jess. Uh, I think what we are going to do is prepare for you to head off uh, to join Hiroto, who is hanging out here at this base. Uh, we're already five days into the winter. He's nice and cozy in this tiny little base. He is going to chip away at this silver, and then maybe we should make a little door so that we're not leading immediately into the bathroom. Uh, let's put it here. Yeah, I like that. Maybe we can expand a little bit somehow. Yeah, maybe we can go down here with some wood walls. Let's do that. Then we can move those down. Amazing. So we'll have Jess join you. Uh-oh, gazelle. Don't eat the turkey. Don't eat the food. You can eat the berries. That's fine. There's only four. No? Okay, good. Phew. I'm going to have to watch you. You cross the river. Usually animals haven't been doing that. Okay, so yeah, so we'll have Jess join Hiroto, and then we will think about sending them up to get this stash. And there's other stuff in the area. I don't think we wanted to, I don't think we decided this was worth it. Heavy fur and pemmican, eh. Logging worksite, lots of wood, eh. Gold. Eh, that might be worth it. 25 days left. Silver. I think we can get that from our own setup camp. These are very good quests if you don't have setup camp. Like, I think this would be awesome. Because then you get to go there and do stuff, kind of like we're doing with Hiroto right now. He's relaxing. He's awake. He's relaxing. How about after that, you butcher a creature. Do forever. Because, yeah, that should get done soon. And maybe we should move the meal area inside. Eh, although, no, then it'll get too warm. Um, let's tuck it maybe down here or something. Just so that it's not close to the animals. Copy. Paste. Okay, we'll have him do that. I think it's going quite well, and most importantly, all these many, many animals are having lots to eat, which is great. Although these animals are doing okay. I think it's staying above zero, like enough of the time, that I don't know if these are growing. Let's check this. Is this growing? Growth rate zero. Okay, so things may not be actually growing, but there's enough left that this small amount of animals has enough to eat. Where's the um, thingy? Consumption, 1.3. Yeah, so their consumption is, uh, is pretty low. That's great. And they've got access to this nice warm barn. Okay, and Cam's gonna build the other thing. That's nice, nice and toasty barn. Amazing. <gasps> Hiroto is cooking with the meat and he hasn't gotten food poisoning yet. <laughs> That's awesome. Good job. Do we have enough um, alpaca wool to make another bed? We do. This one's poor. Why don't you try to make a better one? And then either you can use it or Jess can use it uh, when she arrives. Or we could get Barry to make a good one for Jess. Let's do that because yeah, Barry is a very good um, builder. Furniture? Yes, furniture. Let's make a couple. There. One of those should be should be good quality. We miss you, Hiroto. You are our tailor. When you come home, we'll have you do a whole bunch of tailoring. Does Jess have a bed? Let's make sure she's got a bed. A sign. Amazing. And this area should be nice and warm. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. This seems 
Oh, why is there a fire? <laughs> we had a thunderstorm. I jinxed it just as I was like feeling all like everything's under control. Also, it's no longer raining. So the fires are just, yep, raging on. Um, let's keep an eye and see if we need to send anyone to go put this out. Okay, this one is kind of petering out and heading away from us, but this one rages on. Uh, yeah, I hope it doesn't get close to our base. It's not looking good. There are quite a few trees, lots of little bushes and grass. We're waiting for the rain. Please rain, please. Or even snow, it's below zero. We could get some snow, perhaps. Barry's the only one awake. Our relations are changing with their natural tendencies. Negative people are getting more negative. And we're still waiting for rain. Spire kind of looks like a heart. It loves us so much, it's approaching. Hey, a masterwork. Alpaca wood, wood. Oh, alpaca wool bedroll. I knew one of them would be good, but I didn't quite want them that good. That's awesome that Barry is that much of a good builder, though. She has gotten quite skilled. Look at that, 18. Amazing. What is this table that... This table is good, even. The table for the prisoners is good. Um, I'm getting concerned, guys. I think we better... Wait, is that rain? <gasps> oh, phew. We've got some rain. Here comes the rain again. We made a bed for Smelly. Right here next to his food. That's awesome. The other animals are happily tucked in the barn. So cute. Sorry, bunny. Sorry, guinea pig. You're probably like, let me in. That looks amazing. Hey, look at this lamp. It looks different. It's got a cool shape. Ooh. Maybe that goes with our ideologian. I don't know. I think Cam built that one. Interesting. Okay, well, as I happy, happily survey the ranch, I feel as though things are going pretty well. We have a complete bathroom set with toilet, shower, sink, and even adorable little bath mats. Very cute, we have a solar heater for our hot water tank to heat the water for the shower. We now have our hospital back. We have a prison that can be over here. And we are building the prisoners their own little bathroom up here. We have one guest room already ready. And we've got another room here that could be used as a guest room. Or it could be used for visiting um, colonists if we get refugees or something like that. Could be used for that. We just got to get some lights in there. We have a separate dining room. We're gonna start building some nice chairs and recreation room as well. And we have a large temple area. We're gonna build hopefully a lectern, some more kneeling pillows, we've got meditation areas. We can build other objects, like there's all sorts of cool stuff that you can build, drums and ideograms, altars, reliquary some scary stuff as well if your ideal religion is is scary um who needs treatment somebody with asthma jess jess has asthma okay we will make sure that you get some some treatment jess go and get some food yes good job so yeah i think all in all our base is coming along really well we've got nice bedrooms along here I'm happy. I'm very happy with how the Ranch of Romance is coming along. So that was episode 12, folks. I'm going to leave it here. Um, it's a good thing Jess is getting treatment now for her asthma because that doesn't happen very often. So it's how many more days? Needs tending. Wait, let's make sure someone goes to tend to her. Who's our doctor? Um, Nikki. Nikki, we want to wake you up. Then to Jess. 
needs tending now. Okay, and then we'll see how many days. And then we'll send Jess off to join Hiroto. And then maybe they can do some, some quests. Tended. Tended in seven days. Okay, so we will get ready to send her off on a quest with some really nice bedrolls. To join Hiroto in his tiny little space. Hey! And he, he, uh, he mined the silver. Well done. And there was one unfertilized egg that you can cook with. Awesome. We'll have to get you hunting. You are out of meat. But you have two meals here. Oh, and the animals are coming over this side, though. We may want to protect those meals. Okay, we'll have to build, build a little zone. Oh, this is the edge of the map. Okay, we'll have to build. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out a way to get the food um, protected. Maybe we'll do this. Build another little thing like this or something. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Yeah, I like how the camp is, is coming together too. He's halfway through. He just gotta survive the rest of the winter. And if they end up heading off to, to this quest, that may take up the rest of the winter time. How many days? 1.44 days to travel. Animals can forage. There are people can forage. Animals can graze. It's all looking good. Amazing. All right. Well, I hope everyone has a great weekend up ahead and a great week. And I will see you definitely next Thursday for another episode of The Cowboy Colonists. And for Sunday mornings, we'll see. Things are really insanely busy with school. So once in a while, I will try to get something up on Sunday morning. But I, I really can't make any promises right now. Things are very, very busy with grad school and family and, and all sorts of other stuff going on. So we will uh, we'll say Thursdays for sure and maybe Sundays as a, as a bonus once in a while. All right, queer mom hugs going out to anyone who needs them. Take care. Bye-bye.